Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another session of Into Silence, the sil uh, Silence of Isolation. Uh, this is part four, and as you can see from the video, you uh, we are in a different place than the spooky woods. Uh, we are underneath the spooky woods in some spooky caverns. Yay! Uh, <laughs> where we last left off, our party had gotten split up by some devious mist, but has managed to reunite with an added member of one Amber Pyerson. And we are now facing off with what seems to be the monster behind it all with five nasty heads. Uh, will my players please introduce themselves and their characters that they are playing? Hi, I'm Avi. Today I'm playing Garada Satomi. Who is Angie? Oh shit, I'm next. <laughs> Hi, I'm KT, and I'm going to be playing Sasha Jax. She is trying her best. Uh, hi, my name is Magic. Uh, I'm playing a, a, a man called Seeker. Um, he's... I shake. Yeah, a lot of people shake. A lot of people shake this goat man. We love them. We love him though. <laughs> um, and I am Oatmeal, and uh, I will be playing the professor, who did not get a long rest, so he only has a few spell slots. <laughs> F. <laughs> Damn! Imagine not having all your spell slots. <laughs> I say, playing Amber and uh, Bots, who joined last session and are a okay right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be your DM for the evening. I am Mira, and I will be playing Sammy Jax alongside a few monsters. Mm -hmm. Did Tala introduce themselves? Yes. Yes. Man, my brain's not working. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and as the our players and one of our audience can see in the map zone... Uh, as the professor had been sprinting across the um, cavernous meadow that they uh, that the his side of the party had found him themselves in, uh, something had woken up uh, right by the throne. So, uh, would everybody roll me initiative, please? Fun. Uh. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank Fuck. goodness, professor. I've... That's uh... Why do you have such a high initiative, Sasha? That's an 18! Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, gosh. Whoops. I accidentally said that too soon. Uh, that's a 13 plus 3, that's a 16. <laughs> <laughs> um, does somebody, uh... My brain, never mind. <laughs> I saw the, um... The 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 tag for for box initiative and it's abbreviated, and I, <laughs> I my brain instantly went like, well, it's box in it. Box is <laughs> British now. <laughs> I can't believe this box is British. <laughs> it's initiative for box in it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, has everyone rolled? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, I just need to check. Our one audience member who's actually British. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Oh, Perfect. why does this thing not have a list of what its <laughs> initiative bonus is? Why? I will just also, roll. Don't mind me pulling out um my my physical oh. dice because I rolled okay. a now one. Oh. Oh no. And I just need to roll for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I will politely remind that I think Sasha cast something right before initiative last time. What and I she... go to my spells. I think it was like Sanctuary. Oh, it was Sanctuary. Something. Yes. Yeah, it, it was, was Sanctuary. sanctuary. She panicked. <laughs> On, um... Figure and... Stanley. Yes. I think it was... Let mm -hmm. me double check. Yeah, Professor was too far away. Yeah, yeah. otherwise she would have. Mm -hmm. I think that was the right one. Throwing... <sighs> Yeah. Um, and I can send those spell beats uh, in the chat for you if you need, Mira. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, I'll send those. Do you want it Thanks in for... the roll zone or where? Uh, send it to me in the roll zone. I'm just really quickly testing out this uh, initiative calculator thing that uh, that uh, Discord recommended. Okay, that was... Uh, it looks like uh, they can only do one creature. Oh. Uh... It. I have to guess, <laughs> probably Sammy? <laughs> probably Sammy in that moment. I'm so sorry, Seeker, she did try to, like, huddle you. <laughs> it's okay. Seeker's just here. And doesn't want to be. Seeker's just here. I can definitely remember last session. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Seeker is canonically having some memory issues, so mm. that 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 works. <laughs> okay, I think I got everybody. All right, let's sort this out. Okay. Bring out the order. <laughs> oh, actually, I think if you cast this spell at a second level, you can ward more people. Oh, is that accurate? Um, um it doesn't have a. It doesn't. List it doesn't, any oh, effects it doesn't. when upcasted. I so will double check on my better spell list that has yeah. more specifications because I think she might have done that because I do have a spell slot taken out for a higher level. Huh. Yeah, I don't see anything about upcasting, but it usually says it near the bottom of the description. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've noticed there's... on uh, some of the spells through D&D &D Beyond, they don't have some of that. So I'll double check on my better spell list, and if not, then it's not. Mm. Okay. So. God. I don't uh... like that name! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see upcasting. It's fine. It's all right. You got Sasha got her brother, so. <laughs> yeah, but he's oh, immediately really? going to be stupid. Well, <laughs> we know this, and that's why he needs it. Yeah, but as soon as... Read the spell! Uh... Oh, right. Well... <sighs> you can try okay. and grapple Sammy him Sammy goes, something. like, second to last. Yeah. It's fine. Yes, let Sasha with a negative, uh, what is it, four or three, <laughs> uh, drinks. Grapple her barbarian <laughs> cleric brother. Okay, maybe. And she has a four strength, y'all. She has a negative three. <laughs> well. Okay, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, the dice have said that the Memorydra is going to react uh, first. Uh, but it doesn't actually lash out at you, Professor. Instead, mm. it burrows deep underground and is going to uh, use its movement 
to what? Oh, that's not the right. That's not the right layer. You're uh, you're in the reference zone, not where you're supposed to be. Okay, it's going to go five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, and uh, pop up right underneath uh, Seeker, Sammy, and Sasha. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Shit. Well, that's not... Mm. Uh, so, we're just gonna copy that. Send you guys the oh, updated oh. map. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Did you send one yeah, of it? Yes, I have pinned send it in the roll zone. zone. Ah, thank you. Uh, and, uh, everyone make me a deck save, because it's popping up right underneath you. Is this a body-based deck save? <laughs> body-based deck save, yes. Because oh, you're gosh. basically trying to stay stable. Are you able to help? Can I help Seeker? No, uh, I already nope, have advantage. Um, I don't okay. want to. Plus, uh, plus Sasha you're does. Already, I don't. Plus, plus you're already uh, making a save for yourself, so. Do I have to roll that thing? Uh, since it's not after a long rest, no. Because okay, you already what rolled was it last time. I think I passed last time. Yeah, I think you passed last time. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay! 20. Mm -hmm. 18. Okay, and then I just need to roll for Sammy. Okay, all of you guys managed to basically stay upright by kind of grabbing onto, like, the back of this thing and, like, where its, like, five necks are starting to emerge from its bulbous body. And, uh, you would notice that it kind of has, like, these weird kind of tentacle arms and, like, it definitely looks very similar in design to the three-headed person that you saw initially uh like it looks like its heads are kind of humanoid with uh hoods over it that meld into this chalky white uh almost see-through in appearance uh looking being and uh it's gonna uh kind of turn one of its heads and uh go for you sasha <laughs> Yay, I'm a target! Yep. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. I don't me. like that description you gave us, by the way. I'm just like, hmm! <laughs> Fear. Okay. Oh. So. Isn't that if Sasha's just immediately like, oh, yay, it's not Sammy? Hey, Sasha! That's a 24 hit. Yeah, no, that hits. I look at her okay. armor class. That hits. Is that advantage or uh, multi attack? Mm -hmm. uh, it can it can multi attack, uh, but it kind of uh, had kind of turned to look at you, Sasha, and one of its kind of tentacly claw things has actually grabbed you and wrapped around your stomach, and uh, it is uh, grappling you. Oh, no damage yet. Oh, fun. Sasha's yep. just like shit. And uh, in the back of her head, she's like, is this because Len is on my shoulder? <laughs> uh, but it will end its turn there. As it kind of just kind of has grabbed you, Sasha. She has the face of just shit, 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 shit. And uh, next up in the order is you, Professor. Mm-hmm. Would you please put her down? <laughs> it just kind of hums at you. <laughs> and it's unsettling. It's a pulse of silence instead of actual noise that kind of goes in a wave throughout the cavern. Mm -hmm. And then, like, after a few seconds, it dissipates. Mm-hmm. 
but like you kind of have you kind of have like you know like when something really loud roars at you and it shakes everything Mm. yeah no it it still had that even though it was dead silent oh boy um oh that's fun uh yeah he he uh scratches along the side of his face and he says what was it what was it that I, um, what was it that I was telling Heracles about to, to fight the Hydra? Um, hmm. Of, of course. Uh. <laughs> I feel I look directly at <laughs> I cannot fucking believe it. I, Is oh shit. Uh, do we need to roll for Jeannie and, uh, Pema? Roll what? No, usually animal companions operate on the same turn as you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Initiative. Um. Yeah, so he, um. Oh, God. Uh, the professor, um. Uh, uh um I don't think I'm trying to figure out uh what he Oh, okay. Um, he's gonna cast uh, detect thoughts on um, uh, on this uh, creature. Um, so, if you wouldn't mind, uh, please put the description and read the description for the recording. Yeah, it's very long. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm and like, gonna... if you want, you can just uh, read the parts that are more applicable for yeah. the recording. Yeah. Um, so it says, uh, for the duration, you read the thoughts of certain creatures when you cast a spell on your action on each turn until the spell... Uh, and as your action on each turn until the spell ends, it lasts for a minute. Uh, you can focus mm-hmm. your mind on any one creature that you can see within 30 feet of you. Um, is it? Yeah, I guess it's probably just within that range. Um, if the creature you chose has an intelligence of three lower... Or... Well, actually, it's 30 feet. Uh, it's 30 feet. Uh, it's actually 40 feet away, so it's 10 feet away. Oh, it's 10 feet away from the professor. Uh, no, it's uh, 10 feet out of range. Oh, okay. Well, then... Oh, at the, the, I will be a nice DM and say it will work. Thank you. Um, Just because... Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, doesn't speak any language. The creature is unaffected. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I, it only... Oh, yes. Um, so automatically, just by casting it, you initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what is most on its mind in that moment. Um, uh, as an action, I can either shift my attention to another creature's thoughts or probe deeper into the same creature's mind. Um so, uh, so let's see. And as your action on each turn until the spell ends, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and this is what? One minute? Up to one minute. Okay. Uh, so he can learn the surface thoughts, um, and, uh, can I get that before I do anything else? Because that's going to determine uh, whether or not he digs deeper, I think. Um, Mira? Hello? Mira? 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 
Hungry. Hungry. Oh gosh. Oh Jesus, fuck. Oh. <laughs> ah. Um. Well, uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, great. That's uh, great news. Yeah, uh, uh, I think in that case, the professor is going to, uh, um, use the rest of his turn, basically, to try to probe deeper into this thing's mind. Um, I need mm -hmm. you to roll a whiz save. Um, and you need to be, okay. you need to beat a 15. Um, all right. Uh, either way, you <gasps> can tell that he's probing into your mind. Holy crap. Uh, the spell Why ends. Why is this thing getting nat 20s? We're going to die. <laughs> the spell ends. The professor can't, it's gone. It's the spell ends because you succeeded. Uh, and uh, Professor, uh, like, you just see four of the heads just turn and look at you. <laughs> and, like, they're kind of bobbing in a way that's very snake-like. Oh, you're hungry? Um, he pulls a, a familiar wax paper bag out of his pocket. Um, would you <laughs> like... A gummy bear? Perhaps? <laughs> Sasha looks at you like, what the fuck? But like, not in an angry way, more of just like, really confused, like, why? <laughs> you just kind of get another pulse of that very... scary... silence. As it fades away and the tremors kind of stop. <laughs> hmm. No? Alright. Suit yourself. And he's gonna eat one himself. And that's the end of his turn! Oh god. This is okay. lovely. <sighs> Up next is Sasha. Alright, quick question. Uh, can Sasha understand this thing? When it roars uh, or anything? Roll me an intelligence check. Cool. Would it be intelligence or religion? Um, intelligence. Okay. Because you're checking. trying to understand mm -hmm. the pulses. Okay. Just straight intelligence is... <laughs> All right. This isn't lore. Okay. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, no. You just get the sensation that it's... Like Professor said, hungry. You don't yeah. know what he eats exactly. <laughs> My question: Anything from Len? Hmm. Oh, God, I let me really quickly. Oh. Also, does does he roll the initiative, or is he just with me? That's fine if he uh, is. He's just with you. Cool. And, uh, you just get from your bond from Len. You kind of just get this odd. Silence. Of course. Cool. Uh, Sasha is concerned about him. Okay. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. First thing Sasha's gonna do. All right. Um, Keep in mind, you are grappled. Yes, they are grappled. Are their arms free? Is it just around their waist? Or is it their arms, too? Uh, it is currently uh, just around your waist. Okay, cool. I think I have to roll to maintain concentration on Sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Um, which, oh shoot, what do you roll to maintain? Uh, con uh Sanctuary isn't a concentration spell. Um, uh, it's, oh, I misread it. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yep, um, just one minute. Nice. Okay, so first thing Sasha's gonna do is, uh, <laughs> take a deep breath, glare at this thing, and cast Sacred Flame, which is a dex save mm -hmm. of 16. I think it's a dex save. Okay. Yeah, dexterity saving throw. You have to be a 16. What is your dex? It's just a straight d20. Uh, it's a 4. Roll yeah. your damage. 
So uh, do I have permission to flavor this? Because it's uh, flame like yes. radiance descends on a creature that you can see within range, which is 60 feet. The target must uh, succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 damage. The target gains no benefit from cover for the saving throw, except since she's fifth level, she gets to roll uh, 2d8 damage. Okay. Roll your damage. Mm -hmm. I think I'm doing this right. Seven! Yay! Um, and uh, basically, instead of flame like radiance, you have a similar pulse of silence almost seem to radiate down and give this thing a bit of a shake. Uh, and then she's going to cast a uh, spiritual weapon. Which is a bonus action. Can she cast? Oh, it's a spirit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was about to ask. Like, wait, it's a what? Bonus action. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you create a floating spectral weapon within range that lasts for the duration or until cast, uh, you cast this spell again. When you cast this spell, you can make a melee attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. On a hit, the target takes force damage equal to 1d8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against a creature within five feet of it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. <laughs> so that means I make a spell attack. Cool. What is my spell? Oh, that's a plus eight. So seventeen. Does that hit? It does. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> cool. Um. You see what seems like, uh, oh, it, it's kind of hard to see. You can tell that it's there. You can tell mm -hmm. that it's there. But from this like weird orb shoots out an arrow and just strikes this thing in its middle for how so many? Where did you go? There he is. Okay. And that is 1d8, but they are, uh, for every slot above third level, the damage increases by 1d8 for every two uh, slot levels above second. So she's fifth, so somebody help me with the math here. Uh, every slot above second is fifth. Is that oh, just once? So that's 2d8, I think, right? What? Um, at, at I think level. it's talking. I think it's talking about. Oh, using spell slots. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Thank you. Oh. One D. That's a two. They're trying. And uh, that's the end of the trip. Did, is the professor uh full on health? Because I, I yes. Do... Tema, Tema can only use touch spells from Sasha, so. Uh, yeah, no, he's he's full health. In fact, we you, we would have discussed this in character. Um, uh, he tried to teleport oh, right. and got bonked, and and Seeker healed him up. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Uh, has a reaction to getting smacked. Uh, it does have a reaction of uh stuff uh so uh oh uh, sorry i am so target sorry target me target me i dare you do it well uh um both uh all three of you uh seeker sammy and uh, is sammy protected Sasha, at all huh uh this, it doesn't say like make a save it just says uh it you take uh, 2d4 psychic damage okay, I'm as just a reaction. Because Sammy Cause has like, sanctuary on him. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, everybody take six points of damage. Uh, Sasha, Seeker, and Sammy. Fun! Mm. I resist that. Hang on. Uh, it's only uh, those who are uh, five feet. Yeah, but if this thing's got psychic damage, I do a wiggle. <laughs> yeah, That's Sasha's, true. Sasha's just holding her head and wincing. Also, Sammy, you see Sasha looking at you like she wants you to run again. 
staring at Sasha like, uh, no. But, uh, hey, Box! Box, buddy! Uh, it's your turn. <laughs> oh boy, it's Box's turn, okay. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Just checking over that block real quick. So, how far away are they exactly? It's uh, the part each, that... uh, each block is five feet. Uh, box is 40 feet away. 40 feet. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that works. So, Box is going to um, activate the Force Ballista and uh, moving around the left to get onto to get beside Amber is going to take a shot at the Hydra. Okay, uh, roll to attack. Uh, dirty yeah, that 20. Hits. That hits. Roll me some damage. Uh, let's see. 2d8. It's also pushed to f 5 feet away from box. Alright. Uh... <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, box beloved. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they tried. They tried. Damage. <laughs> they tried real hard. We're real proud of them. We are indeed very proud. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, now it's also Amber's turn. Hold on. She's going to do uh, much the same and cast Scorching Ray. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, 27, a 9, and a 16. Okay, 9 and a 16. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, and that was, uh, sorry, what's the again? <laughs> uh, Scorching Ray. Okay, and were you casting it three times, or? Oh, uh, Scorching no, Ray it has three modes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I am... Really great with memory today. Okay, so the first and the third hit, but the second one myth whiffs. So uh, right. only two damage. And ten fire damage. Okay. All right. Uh, up next is Arata. Ah, real quick, when, uh, Amber fires Scorching Ray, does it look like it does, uh, like, uh, anything special, or if the, the thing particularly hates it? Uh, it does not actually react. Mm. Ah, shit, Okay. Hmm. The original plan then. As I try to fucking count how much space this is. Uh, the entire arena is 80 feet. If that helps. Let's see how far it would get to if I can actually like get to the professor in this turn mm. or mm -hmm. uh, remind me what's your range of mo uh, motion again uh, 30 feet okay so uh, you would get to the yellow side of the throne alright uh, here's what I'm gonna do Hang on, let me screenshot it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Also, I will... Uh... Uh, this... Uh, fireball... Of 120 feet. Um... 120 feet? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're definitely in range for that. All right, and uh, I so I'm gonna. Sorry, you cut out what? I'm going to do an attack with the okay. scorching with the firebolt. All right, and are, are you also moving to uh, to get closer to the professor as well? Uh, or are you not? I moving? am getting to that. <laughs> okay. All right, then yeah, uh, roll me to hit for the attack. It's a 20. <laughs> a modified 20. A modified 20 hits. And since he is level... Are you level 8? Hang on. Yes, he is level 8. Since he's level 8, he gets 2d10, so give me a sec. So that's 13 damage. And then I am going to bonus action dash to make sure the professor has someone beside him. (laughs) So that's... Okay. Uh, I remind the professor they have a snake list. Mm Mm-hmm. So that's your full... uh, That's your full movement doubled, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 30... Fine. Yeah, you definitely make it to the professor. And I will share an updated map Mm -hmm. with you guys. I will note that uh, (laughs) uh, Box's uh, Ballista Barrage, or whatever their attack was, uh, did manage to shove the, uh, the Hydra kind of halfway into the tunnel. (laughs) That you guys had uh, just barely exited. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, fun! <laughs> so, just, I, please, please picture for me for a moment that uh, <laughs> this this uh, Hydra is very disgruntled, wiggling in uh, the in the tunnel, trying to get out. <laughs> there is some quiet giggling from Box's end of the cavern. <laughs> Okay, and that is Arata's turn. It's time for Sammy, and he's kind of angry, so he's gonna try and go for a attacker. Because hey, no, that's my sister you're manhandling right there. Okay, that is, uh, and he's gonna pull out from his hammer space. Okay, he pulls out from his hammer space a great sword, and see the hit. And Does not Sammy hit. No, uh, Sammy no longer has a uh, sanctuary. Noted. Uh, he is too angry to really deal anything about that because he is too busy, kind of trying to get his great sword to smack this thing and it just kind of slides off its oh sorry hiccup uh, off its scales and he's gonna try and go for another attacker that one does actually manage to hit let's see how much damage that is oh my gosh why are they having am I having hiccups that's not fair okay 2d6 2d6 4 Seven damage. Oh, low numbers. <laughs> we are so low numbers today, gang. <laughs> low numbers, gang. <sighs> uh, and Seeker, it's it's your turn. Okay. Um. Uh, first of all, Sammy, Sasha, what are your healths looking like? Really quick, does Genie do anything? 
Can I just have Genie hide? <laughs> Genie can hide, yes. Genie has four health. <laughs> That's his max. Yeah, no, I think Genie would go. Oh, nope, I'm out and book it down the hall. Sorry, <laughs> correction. He has a t he has a max HP of two. Mm. Yeah, no, Genie Genie gets to go run. That's I will allow that. this. Hmm. Okay, and what did you ask, Magic? Uh, what are your guys' health looking like? Uh, let's see. Um, Sasha isn't awful. Uh, they're only down, uh, they're 34 out of 40. They're, I think they're fine for now. 40, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, Sammy's definitely bloodied. Mm. Sammy's bloodied? Yeah. How what? is Sammy bloodied? How is he bloodied? Was it the psychic damage? How? It was, um, I'm pretty sure it was, he never actually healed. I think I forgot to roll his healing dice. For from the long the rest? rest? Oh. Yeah. You don't need to roll healing dice from the long rest, you just gain all your health back. Yeah, no. I, this is Mira being a... <sighs> Look, if you're DMing and playing a character, you'll be fine. Like, you so can I'm just, just gonna really quickly uh, recalculate that. Don't mind me. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I was about to ditch my original plan in favor of healing Sammy, because heck... Yeah, no, that's, uh, he's, he's fine then, he's fine. Okay. I'm assuming he has like a hundred something health, doesn't he? He has ninety three. I was close. Six. Uh, okay, so that was <sighs> seven, eight. Okay. Okay. Um Alright, okay. He's fine. He's fine. Everybody is fine. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> Uh, first thing I'm gonna do then, <sighs> I'm going to use a third level spell slot to cast Heroism on all of us, um, which is an amazing spell that I've totally used before, um, <laughs> definitely, hold on, uh, it's third level, so I can target each one of us, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Um, so basically, um, a willing creature you touch is imbued with bravery until the spell ends. The creature is immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points uh, equal to your spellcasting ability modifier at the start of each of its turns. Uh, when the spell ends, the target loses any remaining temporary hit points from this spell. Um, my spellcasting ability modifier is charisma, so that's uh, for health at the start of each of your turns, I believe. Uh, it said it was by touch. Yeah. I can- Mira, I can touch Sasha even if they're grappled, right? Yes, uh, they have- uh, the- the, uh, memory draw has not yanked Sasha off their back yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, it's Sammy, me, and you? Or... Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, so, just- I think that starts when your turn starts of you getting okay. the health. So we start getting uh -huh. four at the beginning of each of our turns? Or... Yes, and that lasts okay. for a minute, which is like six rounds. Okay. And that's temporary hit points rather than like uh, permanent hit points. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Uh, and Mira, you said you were, it already used its reaction, right? Yes. All right. Um, then I'm free to back away without having to do an opportunity attack? Mm-hmm. Okay, um... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I definitely know how to play this character in combat. Uh-huh. <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh, so... I can do flavor. Um... <sighs> Each of you cast heroism, and, um... I think that's going to be the end of my turn. Uh, actually, I'm going to move my 45 feet away, uh, probably, okay. like, by the professor, because, All right. you know, sorry guys, I don't want to be near that thing, um, <laughs> <laughs> that thing's terrifying as fuck. Uh, <laughs> it looks relieved that you're getting away, so you're good. Okay, so, 
25. Okay. You have uh, 20 more movement if you want to go further. I could sprint across this entire cavern. No. <laughs> I'm just going to go stay by the professor. Oh. Okay. Seeker hides All behind right. dad. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna send the updated map. Whoa, allies be upon the professor. Allies <laughs> <laughs> be upon you. Okay, uh, and I have to make a deck save for what the memory draw is going to do next. Mm -hmm. To the right channel. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's okay. That was a put two uh, two of sixteen minus two. That's fourteen. Gonna really quickly roll it. Okay. Yeah. No. That that works. Uh, uh, Sasha, uh, you yep. are suddenly underground. And oh, Sammy is clutching on me. <laughs> Wait, Sammy is also underground? You. Yep. He oh, is no. also underground because he managed to roll high enough decks. Okay, cool. We're underground now. Yep, and uh, you can see the tunnel mm -hmm. rushing by you safe cool. while you're safely on its back. Can Sasha and try to hold it, on to Sammy too? Yes. You what both kind of cling to each other. Uh, I'm just going to give it to you because okay, Sammy cool. succeeded his deck save. Nice. Uh, and it's going to pop up right here. Uh, right. Basically near the throne. Mm-hmm. And I just oh. need to... Oh, dear. Grab... Uh. Right icons. And, uh... Hey, Sasha? <laughs> hey, hmm? Sasha! Uh, you are yeah? picked up by uh -huh. its tentacle and placed on the chair. And this time you actually understand the loud, sonorous rumble it sends out. Is it still holding on to me, or did it, like, chuck me into the chair? And it basically sat you onto the chair. It has not released you yet, and it sounds really pleased. Oh, fuck. Ah. To see you on the chair. Oh, no. no and... Thank you. Sasha looks uncomfortable. Not the throne. Make a whiz save. Oh, fun. That could be the tagline of this entire freaking <laughs> campaign. <laughs> oh fear! Oh, fear. That, we should have destroyed the this fucking throne. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking about. Um, do I? Is it disadvantage or anything, or just a straight whiz save? Uh, roll, just roll a whiz save for okay. me. That's a ten. Oh no! Mm. Meets it. Beats it. Nope, that is uh, That's damage, you. isn't it? Nope, oh, you no. get a zero on that whiz save. Oh, fun! And Sasha, as yeah. its tentacle pulls away from you, you feel something start to drain away at the silence that contains you, and you see from the corner of your eye, lens panicked. No, 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 and. Len's gone from your view. And can I try to guess something when you're done? All of a sudden, you don't remember your parents' faces. You don't remember Ren, Mama, Papa. You know you have some. You know you have a family out there somewhere. What was their name again? What was the family name that you held on so tightly to? 
and everyone else make me a whiz save really quick. Mm-hmm. Like everyone. Uh huh. Can I oh, know? Um, save. I I had forgotten, but um, uh, well. close to the end of yeah, I know. Uh, close to the end of uh, last session, the professor did cast Intellect Fortress on Sammy. So, mm-hmm. um, Sammy, it's concentration up to one hour. Uh, uh-huh. So, uh, I was going to estimate that maybe half an hour had passed at most. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to toss the spell in the roll zone for you. Um, but oh, Sammy has... Uh, and will continue to have uh, resistance to psychic damage as well as advantage on uh, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Um, so, just so you know, you have that! Oh boy. Okay. All yeah. Right. Wait, where did Tala go? Uh, oh, shit. Oh, dear. Uh-huh. Uh, Let me make that wiz save, though. I'm gonna just really quickly roll and see, uh, scroll up and see if uh, Tala said anything about needing to dip. Should we pause recording or? No, I don't uh, see anything. <laughs> it should be uh, fine. We uh, we can pause the battle really quick. Mm-hmm. Um, just really quickly gonna. Maybe they're uh, so, uh, maybe they're they currently re- register as offline, but could be having technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah, yeah it didn't make the normal disconnect sound. Mm. Uh, it did. Uh, it did. Uh, you, you it's can't because hear you're, it if you're recording. Yeah. Uh... Well, making some notes real quick. Mm-hmm. Boy, I sure hope we get those memories back! Mm. I'm just really quickly- I'm just really quickly gonna roll for Sammy, really quick. Does that include Sammy's face? Mm. Yes. Oh shit, okay. Ugh, yikes. This is fun, though. (laughs) Does that include their names? Yes. Including Sammy's? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, that's kind of awesome, though. Okay, cool. Oh, fucked up! Um... Avi, you probably know. When you have a resistance to a type of damage, does that mean you take half damage? I think it is you have, yeah, half damage. Okay, I don't know if you want to go back to that um, psychic damage that Sammy took and, and have uh-huh. that. Just because I yeah, forgot. Yeah, I'll just this, really quickly, I, I'll just really quickly do it because I trust you and that brings him back to full health with uh, what ah! Seeker did Yay. with heroism. Yeah, like, um... The way resistance works is that uh, you still take damage, Mm. you just half that damage and round down. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that means uh, if you undamage, that's no damage. (laughs) If you what damage? You cut out. If you take one damage. Ah. You still take it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. At but least yeah, that's um, the, the ruling I'm used to. Mm. Okay. Uh, everyone, basically, besides Amber and Box, have rolled the whiz save. Mm. Um, so I'm going to say we can take a, uh, a break here, mm. uh, because we have been going for about an hour. Mm. So if you guys want to really quickly run and grab snacks or anything like that... Uh, go ahead and do that, mm-hmm. uh, and hopefully Tala 
and hopefully Tala will co- be able to come back online. Mm-hmm. Maybe um, you can message them? I don't yeah, know. I did message them. Okay. Alright, be right back. Yeah. Alright. Going on break.
Uh, no, not yet. I'm a little concerned. Hmm. Might be an internet issue. Mm hmm. I hope they're okay. Yeah. I'm back. Come back. Hi. Hi. Still leaning on Tala. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I hope they're alright. Yeah. I smile. Oh gosh. <laughs> I have a question. Mm -hmm. Would flanking still work if somebody's on top of the enemy? Sure. Sorry, what? Flanking? Oh, flanking. Mm. I thought you said fighting. Like, would flanking still work if uh, your ally off of the <laughs> it's mm. the side of the enemy? <laughs> you know what? I would say yes because it's also paying attention to the fact that there's something on the back. Yeah. Um, I have a quick question. Will Sasha remember their voices? Because it wasn't a negative, uh, they can kind of remember the flavor of their voices, but not exactly. What about the flavor of their silence? Uh... Yes? Okay. Because you can take the voice if you want. Uh, I am going to say that, like, she remembers, like, the flavor of the voice in silence, but not, uh, not anything else. And, uh, you don't remember where they are, Sasha. Mm. That's gone, Perfect. too. Beautiful. Yep. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yep. I lay down. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I knew potentially that this could potentially something similar. Okay, um, she'll be fine. I lie. It's character development. Oh yeah, it's definitely character development. Me, the player, is ecstatic. Sasha is going to be a broken beam. She's going to be okay. In the long run, yes. Who's gonna take my character? <laughs> the both the blinds. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, Tala is still registering as offline. Mm. I'm also going to pause recording. Uh, yeah, I will also do that. Actually, I'm not sure how Same. to... Oh, there, that's the button. Okay. All right, we are back. A uh, little bit of change of plans. Uh, we aren't certain when Tala will be returning, so I will be detailing the... what the wind saves were for. Uh, let me go back into the roll zone. So I can see everyone. Oh no! I think I don't think you guys actually made the whiz save whiz saves just yet. Uh, I made mine. Okay, so you made yours. Professor made yours. Sasha did theirs. Arata did. Okay. And Seeker's there. Seeker got a one, not a one, a zero. 
Okay, alright. It could be worse! Oh Make god, me he's a seeker. <laughs> of all times, I have low wisdom. Um. Okay, so Gosh. everyone did roll that we're able to. And yes. Sammy got. Wait, 17. do Pema and. Uh, do Pema and um, Jeannie have to roll? Actually, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, this right. is... It's an area of effect. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yep. Okay. Just. You guys roll that too. Mm hmm. That's the wrong thing. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's a sixteen. Okay. All right. <sighs> and we will get Tala's rolls for box and for. Amber, but, uh, okay, I will detail the people who failed first. Seeker, Sasha, you, if you were to go outside and ask who the Jax family was, you wouldn't, uh, if someone were to ask you who the Jax family was, you wouldn't know anything. And... Professor Arata, Sammy, Jeannie, and Pema, if you were asked the same thing, you would get really confused because you would notice that you should recognize that name, but you don't. Ah, fun. Ah, fun. Mm. So basically, know what happened to... basically, you guys uh, would know that something is now missing. Mm -hmm. And Seeker and Sasha do not. Oh so they know they have a family, but nothing about them for Sasha. Yep. Do they know, like, history? All you remember is that your family is in hiding. You don't really... You do remember the ink trade stuff. Cool. I'm just like, do they remember why? Yeah, they, you do remember why, but you um, actually roll me intelligence really quick. Oh gosh, yeah. Girl, and is it intelligence save or just straight intelligence? Just straight intelligence. Okay. That or history. Uh, let me double check my history. It's the same. Okay. Okay. That's a 14. Okay. You remember when you met Len, you asked them something very specific. <laughs> and that's where I guess we're going to leave off because I, uh, without uh, Box um. and Amber... Uh, what did you do for the professor and Sammy and stuff? Yes, or? Uh, okay. I grouped them into those who don't remember and those who do kind okay. of vaguely remember. Cool, my brain just glitched, my bad. It's okay. And yeah, we will uh, continue this at a later date slash later time, hopefully, uh, when Tala is able to get back to us. Uh, we will, for now, say goodbye to our listeners. Thank you for listening to Four Point. Uh, four point five. <laughs> so like that's that. the next. That or that's the next episode. Who knows? This is basically becoming into another parter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like when you take the last book of a series and split it into two movies. Yeah, basically, basically, we're doing a, a splitting a book into two movies. We'll 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 continue this battle, battle later. Uh, mm. and we we bid you all a very good. 
time zone, and uh, we will see you all later in the dungeon zone. Thank you for playing. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.